Welcome back to the channel. Yes, I got bangs and lucky for me, I love them. <laughs> Today we have a huge thrift haul. I went back to Wisconsin for Christmas and did a ton of thrifting. Thrifting in the Midwest is better, cheaper, easier. You have a lot more options. So I have a lot of goodies here and I just wanted to start the new year off with some really cool thrifted stuff. Also, if I touch my hair a million times, I am so sorry. I know it's gonna happen. Okay, the first thing that I have to talk about was a Christmas gift, but it's second hand and it's vintage so I know you guys will appreciate it. Are you joking? Are you freaking kidding me? I collect vintage bags, mostly vintage coach and then Dooney and Burke, but this is my first Dooney and Burke, so I'm so excited. Um, and so does my mom. We kind of got into them at the same time. So it's like a fun little like hobby that we get to share, collecting vintage purses. And I had had my eye on this forever on Poshmark and then it sold, little did I know it sold to my mom. <laughs> it is in pristine condition. I am so shocked. It's this great cream leather with this just awesome brown color. Like I'm speechless, the threading is yellow it's absolutely stunning you've got the little key it is truly stunning i love this handle this feels very i know we're going into like a 2010s style era and this feels very twee and these bangs girl i am so just with new girl coated right now like i am gonna look like her a hundred percent when i wear this bag the inside stunning like i can't get over the quality i have a t-shirt in there right now just to keep its form when it's uh hanging up it's just it's gorgeous and i can't wait to rock this in the spring i haven't worn it out yet because i feel like it is more of like a spring summer bag with the light colors for a day today this isn't big enough i'm like a nanny babysitter or whatever you want to call it you know i gotta bring my games i gotta bring my card games <laughs> all my you know my ipad with my fun drawing apps like I gotta come packed with snacks so this isn't like gonna cut it for my daily day but this is so gorgeous and the funniest thing about this is that I got my mom a Dooney and Burke belt and a matching coin purse a Dooney and Burke cord coin purse and guess what they were the exact same color as this so together we collectively bought <laughs> the matching set <laughs> so she gave me the bag and I gave her the matching belt and coin purse so funny like we had no idea that was happening so yeah I just wanted to like I didn't thrift this but it was secondhand on Poshmark and it is so darling so charming I can't wait to style this like just looking at this at the viewfinder right now I'm like gorgeous I mean it's just great it's just the cutest little purse um I don't know I just feel like this is so New York City right it is so cute um I can't yeah I can't wait to wear this I can't wait to wear this I'm so excited and then while we're on the topic of Dooney and Burke I got myself a Dooney and Burke build <laughs> I had gotten the one from my mom and I'm not gonna lie I test drove it you know I styled it I, I wore it out a few times like it was already secondhand like I was just making sure it worked right you know what I mean and I I fell in love with it, so I got myself a black one. I got this on eBay. I got this on eBay. I think I paid $25 after taxes and shipping and everything, which is such a great deal because uh, some of these can go for up to $80. And so again, it's this black and it has the same brown trimming as the bag. So now I think I'm gonna look for the same belt in this colorway. So the exact same one that I got my mom, so that way I can have the matching set too. It's just so cool. I just love this gaudy duck. <laughs> He's just so fun. I also love the belt buckle. I just think it kind of adds like a curiosity. I, did I, I think I said that exact same sentence in my, I put this in my best purchases of 2023. It adds a good curiosity to the outfit. It adds a, a little layer that I think is really cute, really fun, unexpected. It's like a nice big belt buckle from the 90s, but it doesn't look too cowboy. Do you know what I mean? Like it pulls just very like 90s minimalism and not yeehaw, let's go to the honky tonk. So I... I'm obsessed. I think this is really cute. I've just been really into vintage leather. It also just makes me feel a little bit better about buying leather, uh, buying it secondhand. And I've already talked about it before. I personally, I think leather is the better option to go with because it lasts forever. Like, look at this thing. This is so old. It's pristine. The bags like today, like the Telfar bag, I know people love the Telfar bag. And I think the design is fantastic. I like the look of them. I think the double handle is stunning. The colors are beautiful. I love, I just love the whole thing about them. But like the fact that it's not real leather pains me because some of these are like $200, $300. And I've seen people walking around with their Telfars and they are cracking, falling apart, flimsy at the corners. Whereas when you have something sturdy like this, like sturdy leather, look at this, pristine, not a stitch out of place. So that is why I just like to go with leather, especially vintage leather. Vintage leather is thicker. It's better quality than leather of today. And there's definitely like a privilege in being able to afford 
afford, you know, like one nice bag rather than like $20 at a time. I'm just saying if you do have the means, if you do have the funds, I would invest in a good leather piece. So, okay, off my soapbox. <laughs> and then I got two pairs of earrings that my mom thrifted for me. So in this video, you'll see that I have a lot of stuff from my mom. She has a whole office filled with vintage goods. My mom is the queen of finding secondhand and finding vintage pieces. I will have her Poshmark linked down below. My Poshmark is always linked down below, but like my Poshmark is like fine. It's just like weird stuff right now. I don't really, I used to do Poshmark on the side as like my side gig, but now I'm pouring more of my energy and time into YouTube as like my side hustle. So yeah, anyway, my my Poshmark is just like a hodgepodge of like weird stuff that's left over, but my mom has like the craziest vintage pieces. And you'll see, I took a few things from her. I took a, <laughs> she let me, I like went through all of her vintage stuff and I took what, what I wanted. Her Poshmark is just full of immaculate vintage stuff. So definitely uh, give her a look. She's also got a great range of sizes from like extra small to plus size. So anyways, I'll have that link down below, but she thrifted me two pairs of earrings. And this first pair is so funny. It's a pair of vintage Avon earrings. <laughs> and she was like, I got you these because you love 4th of July. <laughs> It was so cute. And I was like, yeah, I do. Like, I do love 4th of July. I love holidays. Like, I love all holidays, except for Thanksgiving. I don't mess with Thanksgiving. I, like, it's kind of mid to me. I don't really like the food, and I don't know, it's a weird holiday. Whatever. But I typically love holidays. <laughs> so she got me these. She's like, it gives the 4th of July. <laughs> So that is what they look like. They're just these really cool hoops with a navy blue, white, and red stripe. I think these kind of look cool in like a Tommy Hilfiger Americana way or a Parisian way. You know what I mean? Like I'm not wearing these in a yeehaw. The girls who get it, get it. So I think these are gonna be really fun. I think with the right outfit, they're not gonna pull 4th of July. <laughs> they're gonna pull more like fashion, like Parisian fashion. Those are super cute. I think she's got these for like 50 cents. And then the next pair is my favorite. She also got these for like 50 cents. Look at these. Aren't these so, so gorgeous? They are just these gold baubles, two little. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. I think we're going to see a huge resurgence of 80s style jewelry, like chunky gold jewelry. And that's how I feel about these. I just think that they're so interesting. And I actually looked these up and there was a lot of designers selling them for like $1,000. So go to your thrift store for jewelry, 50 cents, a dollar. You can find amazing little little stuff like this. These are just so, these are gonna look so cool. Okay, now I'm gonna go into jackets because I found the best thing I might, uh, like the best thing I've ever thrifted, I think. And I'll, I have three jackets. I'll show you that one last. So we'll start with this one. I was so excited for this. I think I paid like six bucks. This is by Croft and Barrow. So just like a, you know, whatever kind of brand. It's a size large, but I love the color of this. Uh, I haven't had like a quilted bomber jacket and I really, this is something I really wanted to thrift because I kind of wanted to try it out. And I think this color is just perfect for spring. Like, are you joking? With a pair of jeans and like some rain boots or some Chelsea boots and then like some like ribbons in my hair or like a little scarf, I think it's gonna look so stunning. I said in my last video that for spring, I like to, I like to go really kitschy. I like to like lean into pastels and like really commit to the spring bit. Like I wanna look like I'm in an archival J. Crew spring catalog. So I'm super excited to style this. I think this is gonna be perfect. It's pretty lightweight, so it'll definitely be for those warmer days, but I just thought it was really interesting interesting. I also liked the buttons. I don't know. They had like a good tortoise shell kind of look to them. And I like that it was oversized. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun styling this. I don't really have anything that's this color. And this color does look really good with my eyes. So that was a win for sure. Then this next jacket is definitely like a little bit more trend forward. We've got the cheetah print, the leopard print. <laughs> this is super cute. This is like a vintage, literally just a black overcoat jacket. It's a spring kind of jacket and very boring. However, when you cuff the sleeves, you got this cheetah print sticking out. And then also when you pop the collar, it's underneath there. And so I thought this would be so cool. I think this is gonna be really cute to just subtly add that leopard print, cheetah print into an outfit. I think we're gonna see it huge this year for spring. And so, yeah, that was that. Was super cool find. I think this was like five bucks. So decided to give it a try. This might be the best thing I've ever thrifted ever. Let me just show it to you. So also, I think this was half off. I only paid eight dollars for this. If I had thrifted this in New York City, I probably would have paid 75. It is a 100% wool red jacket. Are you joking? When I tell you, my mouth dropped when I saw this because I was like, how has no one snatched this up yet? Because I think we went at like noon. So like the store had been open. The store, people had been rummaging. People had walked past this beauty and said, hmm, not for me. Not 
not for me. She was made for me. This is so, so cool. And what's even cooler is that the lining on the inside is impeccable, impeccable. My guess is that this was somebody's grandma's like church coat that she only wore around Christmas time. She only wore this to the bell concert once a year. Kept it dry cleaned, pristine in a bag in the back of her closet. Thank you, Mimi. Thank you, Nana. Thank you so much, <laughs> because now I get to love her. It's originally by Kohl's, but what's cool is that the tag says Kohl's Green Bay. So that's where, that's like the area that I grew up around, Green Bay, Wisconsin. So kind of cool, a little taste of home in the jacket there. And I also can't wait to wear this next year for the holidays in New York City. New York City in the Christmas time, and I'm wearing this to see the Rockefeller tree. This? Oh my gosh, and my vintage rabbit. <laughs> my vintage rabbit for scarf. This is it. This looks good. Imagine me, little old me, little old mysterious me with my bangs, wearing this and this together, viewing the Rockefeller tree. Girl, that's gonna be, <laughs> that's gonna be so cute. I will cherish this forever. One of my best thrift finds of all time. Okay, let's get into tops next. This first one's kind of boring. It's just um, a gap top that I got. I just like the color palette. You know me, I love red. I love brights. Um, I think with my complexion, which is extremely fair, and then my dark, dark, dark hair, I think that this kind of coloring suits me very well. I think it just makes my like features pop. And I'm usually not really into a V-neck, but I got this mostly, I want this to just kind of like stick out of jackets, like a trench coat or something. I think this would be kind of fun for spring. I briefly mentioned this in one video. I don't remember, like I talk so much that I don't remember when I said something or if I like cut it out because you guys, I will film for like an hour and a half and I cut it down to 30 minutes. I just will not shut up. But I've I've really been obsessed with the frazzled English woman aesthetic, like the rom-com lead aesthetic. Has just a little bit of rouge and lipstick and she's in a trench coat with mismatching in her scarf. And you know what I mean? Like I've been seeing this on TikTok and, and on the internet lately and I love it. You know I love it. You know that I love the Brits. I love the English. What is it about British people that I am so fascinated by? <laughs> And you take that as a compliment. You take that as a compliment, vibes. So this aesthetic was created for me and me only. This aesthetic is targeting me. This aesthetic is, you know, making its way into my little noggin and haunting me in my dreams. And I think that this will, long story short, I think that this will be the perfect layering piece for the frazzled rom-com lead. I'm excited to style it, so, um, yeah. All right, we have a lot of button-ups. If you're new here, I love button-ups for the summertime as a very fair girly girl and as a very fair girly girl who lived in Hawaii. Like, I feel like I've got summer outfits down pat. Basically, that's wearing a cotton button down at all times so that I don't get sunburned. This one was really cool. This one's from Aeropostale. Got this from Goodwill in the men's section. It's a men's extra large. For me, it's like the bigger the better. So I just really liked this pattern. I don't really have anything like it. Just with like the different widths a hard word for me to say. The different widths of stripes on here I really liked. I wear button-ups so much in the summer that I wear them out. So uh, even if it's one that I don't love 100%, I just buy it because I know I'm gonna get holes in it eventually. I really did like this. I don't know, with my new hair, I feel like anything's possible. That last one was 100% cotton. This one's a mix, so if you know me, I typically like to stay with 100% cotton, uh, but I got this from the Goodwill bins, so it was like probably a dollar. Again, red. I love the red. I think this one, I don't think I'll wear this as a cover-up. I'll probably wear this in the spring as just like a normal shirt as part of my outfit. But um, yeah, I don't have any red stripes. And so I just thought that was interesting. Not much to say. I just like it. And then this last one, I might pop up on my Poshmark. I'm not sure how I feel about it. We also got this one at the bins. This is Tommy Hilfiger. I believe it's vintage 90s. I just don't know if I love how big these stripes are. I typically go for this pattern, but the stripes are a little thinner. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to feel goofy in this or not, but so I don't know. It might be up on my Poshmark. It's super cute. Also 100% cotton. It's just, it's got a different shape that I'm used to. I'm used to like oversize and this kind of comes in at the waist a little bit. You know, that like the 90s button up. So not sure if I'm going to love it. I'm either going to love it a lot or I'm going to feel so goofy. The potential to feel goofy in this is high, which I guess also feeds into the frazzled rom-com lead. I don't know if it's going to be like frazzled rom-com lead quirky or just 
I actually look like a clown. I look like I work at a bowling alley. We'll find out. I am super excited for this. I got this at the normal Goodwill. I believe this is vintage because usually when I see Nike tags like this, it's like early 2000s. This is just a jersey. I found this in the men's section too. It's a men's large. And what I liked about it is it just, it's, yeah, it's a jersey and it just got the little Nike swoop. I've always wanted to kind of participate in like the jersey outfits, but I didn't want to buy an actual sports team. So this was like a great compromise, a great meet in the middle there. Pretty long and it's a little see-through. I love Cup of Jordy on YouTube, like amazing videos. And she did a styling video where she has this really cool yellow jersey. And I was like, oh, I really like that outfit. Like I never would have thought of styling it that way. And so Cup of Jordy got a yellow jersey. So I got a blue jersey. <laughs> the influencer has been influenced. I feel like styling a jersey is like a cool girl outfit. Do you know what I mean? Like this is not a safe outfit. And there's something about the bangs that I, like I said, it makes me feel more stylish. I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't be able to rock this without the bangs, but with the bangs, it's like, oh, she, oh, she's on Pinterest. And then I actually thrifted this t-shirt that I'm wearing. It's probably late 90s, early 2000s, 2005, around there. It's just a Tommy Hilfiger white shirt, and it's got the tiniest little embroidered Tommy flag right here. I'm really getting into white t-shirts lately. I know that's so boring, but I never used to feel confident in a white t-shirt, and now a white t-shirt is like the easiest way for me to feel confident. And this was also on the clearance rack at Goodwill. I can't believe no one bought it. It was 99 cents. 99 cents. Why had no one bought this yet? And then when I was checking out at Goodwill, so sweet, um, a lady came up to me and was like, hey, here's a gift card. It has to be used by the end of the year and I'm not gonna be here again, so you can use it. And it had $5 on there. So sweet, so sweet. I just, it was so nice. So yeah, I got $5 off my thrift trip. Thank you, kind woman. <laughs> Then I have one more top and this I actually got from my mom's stockpile of goodies. Thank you, Anne. And I have been looking for something like this. This has been on the top of my thrift wish list because I've been into just like, again, I've said it a million times, but I've been really into layering, but subtle layering, intentional layering, just interesting layering. I don't know. I, I think that's what makes an outfit really intriguing to me lately. And so yeah, this is a Drake J. Crew size small. I'm assuming this this is 100% cotton, let me show you. And it is just a button up, but it's got that nice ruffle collar. <gasps> I've been seeing a lot of people wearing this under really like oversized sweaters and I have been loving it. So I think this is gonna be, an, again, a really nice spring piece. And I'm, I'm feeling the frills and the bows and the girly, 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 like hyper feminine styles for spring. And that's how I feel about this. It feels very elegant. I just, oh, I love this. What a great, what a great find from my mom. <laughs> okay, and then before the pants, I did get a pajama set, 100% uh, cotton. And so this was great. This was half off too. So I I think I paid $3.50 for the set. Ralph Lauren, it's a size large, but I kind of like PJs to be a little oversized. And then the pants, I feel like they've shrunk and they probably dried them. So they fit like a medium. These are a little cropped. They're like a wider leg cropped. And then the top is so cute and it's got a monogram. These are gonna be great. Okay, then we got into pants. This one's really basic. I got this at Goodwill. It's a St. John's Bay, but it's a skort. So that's amazing. I'm really excited to wear this during the summer. I think this is like the perfect New York City outfit because when you're walking up the subway, that's what the skirt is made for. The skirt was made for the subway girlies. Pretty simple. I didn't have anything like this. And I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this in the summer. I also think this is going to look so cute with just an oversized button up over top. I have been loving seeing people's Pinterest boards of like these little cute picnic pants. Do you know what I mean? Like they're the red gingham, red plaid picnic pants. They just look like something you'd wear to a picnic. <laughs> I found these. I'm still on the hunt for red gingham because that would just be like next level awesome. But this is definitely a close second to find this red plaid. They're a capri. I mean, what more can I say? They're super cute. I'm really excited. I think they're gonna look great with these guys, a little Mary Jane moment. I'm super excited to style these for spring. I'm actually, this is like a spring haul. Like most of the stuff I got was spring summer related. The only thing that's really wintry is the wool jacket. And then I have one item down here, but most of the stuff is spring, which is great. Cause that's like the season that I kind of need a little bit more for. Okay, so this next pair of jeans, my mom thrifted and then she let me try them on. They fit me perfectly. So I took them home with me, but this might also be one of the best secondhand things I've ever found. This is a pair of women's Levi's dated 2004 and these are the 550s. I have never had a pair of Levi's fit me. Anytime I try on Levi's, modern Levi's at the store, I've tried on so many pairs of Levi's, you guys. Vintage Levi's, like they never fit me and so I really didn't have high hopes and then I tried these on. 
I finally have the perfect pair of Levi's. Oh my gosh. And also, these are a size 10. I'm usually a size 4 or 6, and these are a 10. So I think that's why I could just never find them that fit me right, is because I need to go up, up two sizes in jeans. So that's the tag on them. They're just this great like a uh, medium wash. They're mid to high rise and they fit me fantastically. I love the length of them too. They're not cropped. They're just like a classic relaxed straight leg jean and they look amazing with boots, but they're gonna look amazing with sandals. They looked good with ballet flats. They looked good with everything. So this might be one of the best pairs of jeans I own. I was shocked, so excited. And I think my mom said she paid $8 for these at Goodwill. I've worn these so many times since I got them. I think if I had to keep only like five items for my wardrobe, these would take up a spot because these are effortlessly flawless. I love them so much. And uh, yeah, they're definitely my new go-to. Thanks so much to my mom for sourcing these for me. I am obsessed. The last two things that I have are both from my mom. And this is just like an example of what my mom is thrifting. Vintage Levi's that fit me perfectly. A gay Gibson 100% wool from the 60s, 70s dress. Like girl, how? <laughs> how is she finding such good stuff? This is so cute, but you can see it's got this pleating on the side, and then it's got this little like, I need to learn like fashion terms. Cause I'm always like, I don't know, whatever this is. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what this is called. This little, little flap on the side. Okay, there, you can see that detailing now. I think this would look so good with riding boots. I'm still on the hunt for a perfect pair of riding boots. I also think this would look great with some Mary Janes or just like loafers in general. I also haven't styled this, but I'm super excited to. Again, if we get a little bit of a cold spell in New York, this is gonna be perfect. It is so cute. I just think with like some stockings and a riding boot, it's just got that country, like old money countryside aesthetic that I love. That's how I'm feeling about this. I just think with like a rain jacket, I really have been loving these looks that I've been seeing lately, which is like taking really classic pieces like a button down or like a cable knit sweater something like this and then adding like utilitarian elements so wearing this but then wearing it with like dusty green matte rain boots and a really really big rain jacket I just like this kind of like mixed aesthetic of like we're so rich that we have a second home in the countryside uh, but we still wear very posh things but then we put our like outdoorsy stuff on to like go for a walk go for a walk around the cottage you know what I mean that's like what I'm feeling <laughs> the quality is fantastic I can't believe it's in such good quality still Look how yummy that tag is. Delicious. Like, is it giving school teacher a little bit? Of course. Of course it is, but I think it's cute. It's giving school teacher, it's giving rich English countryside in the best way possible. I should really do a video like styling my recent thrift finds because I've got grandiose visions for every piece. And then the final thing I am oh, so obsessed with, I don't know how old this is, but it, it's fitting my vision, my, my need to have these like Edwardian inspired dresses and skirts. And yeah, this is that. So there's no tag on it. I don't know if it's homemade. I don't know, but it looks like you get those TikTok of the girls who dress in Regency era style. I am obsessed with them. They're so, so cute. And they'll dress up in like stockings and like the hoop skirt and they'd put on like the petticoats or like the, the trend of like the little women winter. That is what this is. I know that the girls who know what I'm talking about are gonna be so excited. This is the front of the dress. It also, it's a tad big for me, but we're gonna make it work, it's fine. This is the front of the dress. Just immaculate detailed work here. Beautiful cap sleeve. And then <gasps> on the back, these amazing buttons. And the buttons go all the way down the entire skirt. And then from the front, this does have pockets, so that, that's what makes me think it's maybe not super old, but I, I don't know. This skirt has beautiful little trim on the end. This skirt is like, like so voluminous, so flowy. I cannot believe she had this. Like I've been searching on eBay for skirts like this. You can type in Edwardian style skirts, Edwardian style, style white cotton skirts, and stuff like this will come up and they're like $200. So she just had this sitting in here. She got this at the bins for like 50 cents probably just just waiting for me <laughs> Okay, and that's everything. We managed to get it filmed before it, the sun completely set. <laughs> so that was my very exciting thrift haul from Wisconsin. Like whenever I go home, I do a ton of thrifting. Cause like I said, it's just more fun. The thrift stores are bigger. There's more space. There's also more variety. There's like 10 different thrift stores that I can go to all within like five minutes of each other. Of course, I'll still thrift in New York City. Like stay tuned for that content. Just know that thrifting in New York City is a lot more expensive. Even the Goodwills, like I noticed that the pricing was different. The jackets at Goodwill in Wisconsin were anywhere from five to ten dollars and then the jackets in Goodwill in New York City are twenty dollars a pop no matter what like even blazers at Goodwill are twenty dollars 
insane. That is insane. But yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Welcome to the very first thrift haul of 2024. I so appreciate that you're here. Definitely give this video a like and subscribe. Um, my Poshmark is down below. My mom's Poshmark is down below. My Instagram, my TikTok, all that good stuff is linked down below if you want to check it out. If you want to stay up to date with me on a more day-to-day, -day, Instagram is definitely the one I'm most active on, my stories and stuff. That's it for me, and I'll see you in my next one.